Okay, in these series of posts, we're going to configure the BeagleBone Black for pulse width modulation in order to operate uh, this little servo, which is actually going to be controlled by uh, an HTML5 web client running on this iPad. And the way the web client is going to communicate with uh, the BeagleBone Black is via a WebSocket uh, connection. Uh, the Beagle Web Black is running a Node.js uh, WebSocket server, and then using the HTML5 spec, we can establish a WebSocket connection, and these two uh, we'll be able to communicate back and forth in real time. The web client has a very simple interface. It has a slider um, that will control the servo, and just a couple of buttons to turn the servo uh, on and off if we want. So let's go ahead and give this thing a demo. Let me get this in, in the picture. Okay, here we go. Okay, so you might be saying to yourself, well, you know, what's the big deal all this guy is doing is just is turning this little thing. And what's most impressive is you, you have this microcomputer running embedded Linux and with very little setup and configuration you can run a WebSocket server pretty much out of the box uh, and then using you know open web standards communicate with this board uh, back and forth uh, and that to me is a very powerful combination and the possibilities you know seem endless you know anything from like home automation security robotics uh, image face detection you know interfacing with audio video the power is really in your hands. Um, furthermore, like being able to use open source technologies um, to do this, I mean, this is all pretty much being driven by JavaScript for the most part. And the fact that I don't have to use any proprietary technologies or licenses is even more powerful. So uh, I hope you enjoy these posts and stay tuned for more projects.